Moving down the session, we have in yellow our VCA masters. These allow us to make volume changes to groups of instruments without affecting their compression or processing. And we can also do global moves. So let's say I want to make the whole song a little lower in the verse. I want to kick it up in the chorus. I want to hit the downbeats of the chorus. I want to just take a global vocal and go plus one or minus one. Very quick and easy to do it without changing the tonality of anything. Stem mixes. Your client wants stem mixes. You want to take a TV mix to go sing and play along at a gig. You can rerun your mix and just mute what you want at the VCA level. No reason to touch anything or harm any work you did in the mix. Moving down in blue is my sidechain. All these sidechain processors are mainly gain and tone processing. They're not your normal send to a delay, send to a reverb. And I'll explain those. I'll send certain things or groups of things to them. So for instance, send A has my API 2500 compressor. It's set to six to one, it's hitting pretty hard. And I have it set now at minus 24. Depending upon the song, you may see this ride up and down in different parts of the song to create dynamics and intensity. All my drums, percussion, loops, sound effects that are percussive and basses go through here. Gives a glue. Next one down, B, is a Neve compressor, followed by this Brainworks EQ with a stereo widener. This is for all the things on the side. So keyboards, sustaining instruments, maybe some guitar things that are bouncing around on the outside that have like delays or something. And the idea with this is, is that it, it, it gives a different level of intensity and a different pump between, let's say, the API and, and this. So different instruments are going to react and address tonally their compressors differently. So my sidechain C compressor used to be my 21176s that were analog. But I kind of like this UAD one, and I decided to move the analogs over as a direct insert on the kick and snare. I thought they were more important there. And this sounds really great. So I can slide this up and down to taste for some bite in the mid-range and a different sort of aggressive quality. Anything may go in there. Tape sidechain. Ampex tape machine sounds great in this particular mode kind of flattens out the transients around things off a little bit if I have something I want to not hit so hard or be so pointy be a little less digitally accurate I'll send it in there distressor shells ITB what does that mean shells to me are the kick snare toms I used to do this with two distressors I really love them I had four of them but the plug in so good I decided to try it and I kind of digging it and I sold my distress you, know, you, you have so much stuff in these racks after a while the heat and the maintenance it gets a little crazy so the more I can transition into the box little by little I will do that so this is set up so the kick the snares the tom toms have this sort of crushing vibe to it that I used to use on my distressors kick and snare crush not original at all I robbed this from Andrew Sheps's video it's a great idea your kick and your snare go to a separate compressor, DBX160, and you slide that in to give them either more point, more sustain, more help in whatever way you see fit. A long time ago, I realized that I wanted to find a way to glue the kick drum and the basses together. So I had a retro stay level compressor modeled after the Gates stay level, which I thought was fantastic, but it was one box mono. It was not cheap, but it was worth every penny. It let off a lot of heat and it used new old stock tubes so it was three or four hundred bucks every year to change them i wanted to try something to emulate it plus i felt like i wanted more of them on different things so i really was looking for a software version and i came up with this and it sounds great so i have a preset in here so the kick and the bass go to that shadow hills compressor then i have another version of this with a uh, billy decker another awesome nashville engineer you should check him out he's a badass and this is his sort of look at the stay level. And I use this as an alternate to the other one or a combination. So these things can be used in any combination to give tonal variety to your songs or, or push things in and out. I, I feel like we work hard to get the stereo field and we EQ to get the height, but we don't have anything to move forward and backwards in a 3D manner. And that's what I think all this compression does besides tonal shaping. Then I have a sidechain for the bass with the Billy Decker's 
plugin set different than the one that I had for the kick and the bass. Then I have a sub send for the basses. This is a, a model, I guess, of the Punch 10 or the DBX sub harmonic synthesizer. Uh, another Brainworks plugin aligns thing. It's awesome. And then I put after it this Alicia EQ. I don't know what they did with this, but the low end of this is unbelievable for basses and anything low end. And then I have some stuff for guitars, standard LA3As, and then a Pultec, and then the Billy Decker guitar thing's cool with a Pultec, so that's, that's a possible combination. Or, or one of, Then vocals. Vocals definitely need the sidechain thing to mold it. This replaced my one distressor I used to have on the vocal sidechain for some aggression. Then a sort of offshoot of that was the Slate Distressor plugin. I kind of added some EQ to it and a little saturation with some aggression on it. Then for a little more saturation and aggression, I started using this Abbey Road plugin. I tried it on a, on a mix. I think it was Chad Blake video, I saw it. And I really liked what it did to certain things and I messed around with separate elements and I really dig it for vocals that need to be pushed ahead, especially in a rock track like this. Background vocals, the Billy Decker vocal plugin is cool. And the Fairchild, which is a great plugin. So I'm going to play the chorus with all the side chain in for four bars, and then I'm going to take them out. You can hear the difference. In. <laughs> Out. In. You can hear the difference. I'm sure you could find a way to do the same thing without these. But what's really important to know is the mix bus, the side chain, all the processing, all those levels are set in my template. It makes it way faster, and it sounds pro way quicker. So that was The World is on Fire by Moguls of Mayhem, Anatomy of a Mix. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. Hit the notification button so we can let you know when we have more. Hope you stay healthy and well. Keep making music. Thanks.